folks, a windy day here. Windy day on Beloit Beach. Rolling out in the tricycle. Got wife number one by my side, looking beautiful. Baby, you like a bottle of wine. You just keep getting better with age. We were sitting there watching the, the video when we took Forrest G to her village. We were showing Janice about the Mice Village, you know. The first thing she said was, Oh, Marcos, you were so skinny back then. Well, yeah, that was two years ago. I was a lot skinnier back then. Shit happens. Number two, hey, easy on a on the bullshit device. I ain't worried about it. Number two, but the mouse was looking a little haggard because she just gave birth. Uh, but yeah, so fuck the mouse, baby. You look, you look better and better, better and better every year. You just get better with age, honey. So anyhow, Janice was watching that, watching the, that video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I think it's called uh, Christening, what's it called? Christening a Baby in the Philippines? Something like that. But anyhow, folks, we're headed out. It is a Saturday, and this is typical sunny day, Saturday traffic here. You know, the checkpoint heading south, they don't bother you. There is no checkpoint. But heading north, you still got this damn checkpoint up here. You got a combination between the Divi Mart and a little bit. You got the Wilcon. You know, people pulling in and out. That affects traffic, the shopping shopping areas but it's a windy dusty day I don't know if you can see all that dust whipping what have you but a great day to be wearing glasses like this from uh, Wiley X they got that that um, seal right there sort of like goggles or whatever but that's what I love about these glasses you know if you're in the, if you're in the Middle East going around with that sand whipping around or just dry, windy days. Those things keep the keep the dust out of your eyes. Look around the trike. This is uh, two bags of laundry. You got the aviator's kit bag, the parachute bag. Dropping off the water. You know, we have two jugs of these. It's 30 pesos to get them refill. About 60, 65 cents. So, you know. Once one goes down, go get a refill. You always got a full one. Got the, uh, the backpack, Park Terrace Breeze. If we weren't so transient, folks, you know, I'd probably have about 10 of these things and some 55 gallon drums, but we're, we're transient. There's the Wilcon Depot. Great place to go into if you want a slice of Americana. Just nice, big, Air conditioned, uh, spread out. Got some Rubbermaid products in there. Some products made in the U.S. Just go in there and walk around if you're from the States and you feel like you're in America. Alright, coming up on the checkpoint, go shields up, shields down on the uh, bullshit devices, the face diapers. Checkpoint, and we'll be dropping off the water. And successfully navigated the checkpoint. Shout out to them young officers standing out there doing a tough job. What? Nope, we're not stopping by the Shumai place. Baby, I know that the only reason you decided to come on this trip is so you could try to pressure me to get Shumai. Alright folks, we just let Jason drop off the water here. And this place right here charges us 30 pesos, 60 cents. And you can come back in about an hour, an hour or two. I mean you can sit around and wait, but usually you just drop it off, come back in an hour or two. Dude selling goldfish. Mobile goldfish sells it. To the laundry. All right, folks, that hits two loads, 336 pesos. And that's wash, dry, and fold. 
This is my little laundry spot, RAR Laundry, across from Magdalena Homes. Just tell the Marco sent you. But he's got to do uh, two loads. A young man right there in the purple selling uh, goldfish. His uh, stand is a goldfish stand. He's walking around selling fish, you know, for pets, not to eat, fight them out. You see the Kuya selling the goldfish? Okay, you can't eat that fish, honey. Those are goldfish. We could get Force G1, but I'm afraid you and Janice might eat the goldfish. We'd give him a name, but he would wind up in the in the skillet. Oh, the young gentleman right there selling uh, cotton candy. Another one of Fatima's favorites. You want the cotton candy, baby? I know you want the shoe mine. Okay, so I. I'll just give you a look at the traffic backed up. All this traffic is getting backed up from the checkpoint at the river. There you go, Victory Liner. Good to see that Victory Liner. So this, this checkpoint serves absolutely zero purpose. And like I said, the one coming southbound just normal operations like before all this craziness but this checkpoint going northbound is doing nothing but just screwing up traffic absolutely no fucking purpose whatsoever all right here's my one liquor store i go to gum leaves is closed if anybody's wondering Beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Barrio Barreto. My goodness. The weather don't get any better. I mean, it's, it's windy, but it's cool. Look at this traffic. Once you get to the checkpoint and clear that ridiculous checkpoint, you know, you're smooth sailing up to Subic Town. Sitting Bull NX, happy hour, 55 pesos. I like sitting outside there watching traffic go by. Hey, buddy. Shout out to Francis and Faye. I think Faye's still down in Manila at her mom's house. Got Shambolis. Mmm, making me crave a pizza from Shambolis.
for shop action going on. Looks like that second barber was free. Anybody looking for a haircut on a Saturday? Passing West 18th Street. you just took these buses for granted. <laughs> Little girl working the counter. You took the buses for granted. You know, you even cursed them when they were messing up traffic or driving too fast. Blowing diesel fumes at you. And now when you see a bus, it's just a sign of freedom. over here with cheaper prices. We're going to get out and walk around. Alright folks, loose here in the market. Fetching out on a hunt. She's never been here before, so we don't know. We got no idea where we're going. Hello. Hello. How are you? I love it when Fetching Mile wears a Daisy Dukes. Mote, got 10 pesos on those. We'll just head deeper and deeper into the fray. Hello, how are you my friends, hello. Oh yeah, good looking potatoes, oranges. Got the rice over here. Hello, how are you? Good. Everybody's so friendly over here. I don't know where she's going, folks. If I had to guess, she's trying to sniff out some fish or some shrimp. Where are you going, baby? Most of the time, it's just best not to ask too many questions. Just let them roll. They got any seafood around this this market? Well, those peppers look good. Well, the potatoes look good right there. My goodness. Uh, ask her where the seafood is. Go around this way. Well, this these potatoes look good right here. Fruits. All right, folks. Now we're inside, so we were just on the outside fringes. Now on the inside, got the meat section going on. And fish to the left, baby. Well, that's that's straight. I said left. It's over there. Block of ice. Yeah, we got fish to the left side of the aircraft. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hi. Good. We just want to see, what, see if they got any shrimp. You want to look for shrimp? Uh, I don't 
don't see no shrimp. Sighting of the shrimp. A couple fish. Onions, tomatoes. You wanna get the onions here? Okay, so quarter kilos, 25 pesos. How much is it? 100, 1 kilo. Yeah, so 1. 100 per kilo on these, and we got uh, 60 per kilos on the yellow onions over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll give you, I think we'll go with some, both these onions. What you think, baby? All right, so we're going with two, two kilos of onions, because that's a good price on the onions, and they're fresh. All right, we got 100 per kilo on the, on the garlic, too. Yeah, let's go with some garlic, baby. Get a kilo. And 60 per kilo on the tomatoes. So we'll go with a kilo of tomatoes. Alright, baby, how much was the total? 365. So, folks, got the onions going in the breeze. 32 liter breeze, We've got the tomatoes, and the garlic. So 365 pesos on that spin. Good deal. Now yeah, we gotta look for some carrots. Hello, how are you? No, thank you. Uh oh, if I do my trying to do a little panty shopping. I like this little market, folks. This is nice. Come on, kind of market here. It's a little outdoor area. You want some bananas, baby? How much we got here? 35 for half a kilo. So it's about 35 pounds, 35 pesos a pound on the bananas. Yeah, good looking bananas. Right on the money, right on the kilo. So 70, 70 pesos on the, the bananas. So 50 pesos for one kilo on the corn. So that's basically one dollar per kilogram on the on the corn. Now what about the colored corn? Uh, same. It's the same? Yeah. Okay, so same price on all the different types of corn. And folks, this uh, this backpack got heavy quickly. And we didn't even go through 500 pesos. What you want, baby? Huh? All right, tell us how much the price is. How much honey? 40? 40, 40 per kilo? Okay, so 40 per kilo on the mangoes. The folks got lemons, oranges, apples. Okay, so 50, 50 on the oranges. Huh? That's 50 for one pack? Yeah. Okay, folks, so 50 pesos. We got one, two, three, five oranges. 50 pesos. Yeah. <laughs> what? About a dollar. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, she didn't put uh, she didn't put everything in this Arcteryx breeze. This thing is heavy. Hey, what's up, man? It's heavy. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? Come ahead. I said, hey, you want to wear a backpack? She's like, uh-uh. Hello. All right, right here at the Long Post City Fire Station. Fire trucks. So she's on the hunt for some carrots. Okay, baby, let's go. Right, folks, now we're on the hunt for uh, cabbage, cabbage and carrots. She says, "Yeah, the price is here a whole lot cheaper than Barrio Barreto and Sawmill and Subitown. We love the prices. 
it's just, you know, it's just location, location, location. You got to get here. If you take the jeepney over here, they're cheap. Maybe that's what I start doing, just sending the ladies on the jeepney. All right, check out these ladies right. stuff here. Hello, Hi. ladies, how are you? All right, good to see you. Hi. 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 Get the little small potatoes. Yeah, yeah baby, get some small potatoes and the big potatoes. Okay, baby, yeah. Get two of those. So 20 pesos, 20 pesos each for these little bags of the small, small potatoes. Okay, so the carrots, the carrots are 80 per kilo. 80 per kilo on the carrots. How much are the big potatoes, baby? Okay, so 60 on these right here? Okay, all right, get a kilo of those, baby. 60 on the big potatoes. 60 on the cabbage? Yeah, let's go with some cabbage. So folks, that's 50 pesos for that thing of cabbage right there. Yeah, we'll take that one. And how much are the beans? 60 per kilo. Okay, so 60 on the beans. So folks, we stumbled onto some gym of uh, a bargain here. There's some certain some bargains here in the market. Oh, good looking corn over here. I have to check out that corn. So folks, this place we're at is right across from this uh, Jenny Ann Hardware, HBW, General Merchandise. These ladies just got a little, they just got a little, uh, little tarp and an overhang. It looks like Kevin's, Kevin man, it looks like your, uh, your patio, except they got a tarp for the roof. Looks like the roof must have went away at an earlier date. But that's where we're at. These ladies right here got some good prices on uh, on vegetables. And I gotta come over here and check out the corn because they got a big old mess of corn over there. And where we're at, right next to this blue thing. I don't know what the hell the name of that blue thing is or what it is, but that's where we're at. Well, right across from the fire department. And I have no idea where Jason is. And I got no load on my phone. What can a foreign guy do when he's got no load? My goodness. Oh, this place a little right here next to this Jenny Hardware's got those uh got those little pants. Let me go over there and check the price. I think the ladies will look cute walking around the condo in those those uh what do you call them? Not the elephant pants. Harem pants, I can't remember what. 250 per kilo on the on the bell peppers. All right, folks, we check the price of this corn. Right. Okay, so 50 per kilo, so a dollar a kilo. You want to get some more corn? It's a dollar per, it's 50 per kilo. We might as well get, get a couple kilos. We're not going to get this price anywhere else, baby. What you think? Huh? I can carry one bag if you want me to carry it. You want some more? Okay. Folks, she just didn't want to carry it. Alright, so we just spent 117 on the corn. Now baby, before we get going, count how many years of corn in there. I wanna know. 117. Folks, it's a little just say two dollars and fifty cents. One, two. So six years of corn for 117 pesos. And that is good. That is good looking corn right there. Excellent looking corn. So I told this girl, I said, look, I think Jason dropped us off back over uh, to the right side of the aircraft. And she said, just follow me. Go ahead, baby, I'm following you. You know where to go, I'm gonna follow you. And she walks around with them heavy bags long enough, maybe she'll listen to the foreign guy. Or maybe she heard that ice cream man, and it was drawing her in like a moth to a flame. I'm 
on you, honey. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? You sure you don't know? Think about this, these types of backpacks. You can pretty much just keep stuffing them in the top. So we can't find Jason. I said, look, just put it in the backpack. Then we're not, then we're not carrying these bags around, ripping our hands all the pieces. All right, so good. You got most everything in the in the Arcteryx Breeze 32 liter. Folks, great trekking backpack. It's not a it's not a trial. It's not a laptop bag. Okay, you're not gonna take stuff in and out of this pack. This is the type of pack that you load up, and you move out, you know, 20 kilometers, and then when you get where you're going, you dump everything out. So don't buy it thinking it's a great laptop bag or. Um, getting stuff in and out of it I mean this is a comfortable pack that when you load it down you, you step it out you step it out you move out get to where you're going I don't know if I explained that but it's a badass trekking pack and the only thing she's got to carry now is what what do you got baby you got the cabbage yeah. and so now no big deal we step it out and go find Jason which way baby Alright, I'll follow you. I followed you once and you took me the wrong way. Yeah, I think this is the street he's on. We went over one too many. Got some fresh bread in that spot. Might mess around and stumble onto a fishing supply. But not that I need any fishing supplies now because I got stuff on the way. Look at that. She took me right to the trike, baby. Wonderful. Wonderful, baby girl. How'd you know he was here? shopping stuff going on here on Saturday, folks. Hello, Papa. All right, folks, we're on the hunt for some shrimp. Uh, I'm not sure where he told her to go. Jason gave her directions. All right, baby, I'm following you. Man, it's so nice and cool out today. It's like we got free air conditioning walking around. Hello, how are you? Bust my ass. A little slippery. Got some shrimp right here. Uh, check the price on the shrimp, baby. Five fifty. Got some shrimp right up front. But I told her let's just take a walk back here and see what we got closer to the back. I'm already seeing fresher shrimp right here. All right, keep going to the back. Okay, so you want 120, they're 120 per kilo on the chicken feet, and she's gonna go with a half a kilo. Half a kilo for 60 pesos. She got some fresh bird right here. She's right here on the corner. Look around. Good shrimp right there. Two fifty for half kilo. Two fifty for half. Yeah. So it's the same price. Five five hundred for five hundred per kilo on these. So it's ten ten dollars per kilo. About five bucks a pound on the shrimp. And obviously they got some fresh tilapia going on here. Yeah, we're gonna grill them. What are you gonna do? Half kilo? Uh, see how much that is right there. That's one kilo? Yeah. Alright, we'll go with one kilo. 
All right, folks, we got everything we need. I'm going to pick up some chicken on the way back. Thank you, buddy. I'm going to tell you right now, there's some beautiful ladies out at the Long Po Market. But the number one most beautiful lady is my old lady. I mean, shout out to these two beauties in front of her, but I think my old lady's got them beat. What do you think? Yeah, I'll go home with this one. Baby, I, I, I was trying to decide which lady to go home with, and I, I looked at those other two, and I said, you know what? I'm going I'm to go home with you. You win. But there were some beautiful ladies in red, I tell you. But the markets in Longpo are a lot, a lot different than the one up in Subic or Sawmill. Prices are cheaper. A lot more stuff going on. And that's, that's like state and captain obvious. I mean, Long is a lot bigger city, what have you. But if I had a choice to come to the Alongapo market or the Subic market, I would have to say I would rather come here to the Alongapo market. Much more vibrant, a lot more stuff going on. Um, cheaper prices. Now it's obviously a little bit more crowded. You don't want to, if you want less crowded, well, you'd go to Subi. But I certainly enjoyed our trip there to the old market and the new market. Which market do you like better, honey? Yeah. You like the long and better? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, a lot more barato and a lot more selection. Just send you and Janice on the yeah. jeep, jeepney. Yeah, I like that. We'll take a jeepney ride. Yeah, I got a victory lighter pulling out. Sign of freedom. Yeah. There's the Daewoo terminal. Looks like that Daewoo terminal is uh, open for business. Oh wow, they got Honda generators. Chicken. Go on 
using that new Joy charcoal uh, charcoal stove. All right, folks, just picked up picked up some chicken to go on that Joy charcoal grill. To show you guys how it works out. Stop by Angel Bakery. Pick up some bread, maybe a couple little German beers for the foreign guy. So I can drink me some good quality beer on a Saturday night. Uh-oh, got in a boat, boat. Somebody hitting a whoop, 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 whoop. I don't think that's a boat, boat. But they were, they were hitting a whoop, whoop. Can it hit the whoop, whoop? Got four Ricky Racers weaving in and out of traffic like madmen. Beautiful ladies to the right side. Barcelona. We'll go to the other side. What side, baby? The left side. Well, I feel on that side when we come this way, baby. Stop an angel. Shout out to my buddy right here. Hey! Folks, we're gonna go try to pick up the tubing, the water. But we don't wanna we don't wanna sit there and wait in all that traffic just to go down and pick up the water jug. We can get it get it on Monday no problem because we got a full jug not detrimental to operations so we will forego sitting in the checkpoint traffic yeah, we got something coming through okay that's the popo right there we got the popo coming through whooping it and whooping it and whooping it that checkpoint some VIPs on the motorcycles but don't worry baby because we're the biggest VIPs we're the biggest VIPs around if they knew you were in here and if they knew I was in here we'd have the same escort going whoop 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 what you think baby Like I said, the difference between me and Fatima is we're riding in the back like DJT. We got Jason as our driver. All them cats riding them bikes, they was driving themselves, baby. <laughs> Life is good, my friends. Thanks for joining us on this little trip around. And if you're not a subscriber on my channel right there, bottom right hand corner of your screen. I want you to hit that overstay road sign. Bad behavior, beautiful women. Cooking show, barbecue, beer drinking, and I carry it on and I don't know what all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, my friends. Just trying out this new pig sticker. It's a Gerber de facto knife. Some people call it a combat dagger, but I think the real name is Gerber de facto knife. Came out about 10 years ago. Got this off of Lazada for 1200 pesos. Not sure if it's real or not. Um, you know, 20, $25, I mean, it could be real on the price, but probably not. Now the bear grill knives I get for four bucks, those are based on the money alone, you know that they're fake knives, right? But, but this one wasn't four bucks. This thing was, you know, twenty-five yeah. bucks. But I'm giving it a test to see if this thing will chop vegetables. Okay? Because that's basically what I need it for. I need the thing to chop vegetables. 
Oh yeah. That thing carves up a potato like a champion. Take that, check that out. See, I like the serration when I'm cutting vegetables. I know a lot of people don't. Yeah, but you know what? If everybody thought the same way, the world would be a boring place. So that thing is good for like that. Bring a slice across there. Look at that. That thing chopping potatoes Shut like it was up. nothing. Oh, I'm demonstrate on one more. Look at that. My, my handmade chopping block here. Just look at that thing go. And hopefully it's not going to rub a blister. The Bear Grylls knives rubs a blister right here on me. Hopefully it's not going to rub a blister on me. It, it just feels a lot more comfortable. That rubber, that rubber handle feels a lot more comfortable than the Bear Grylls knives. Baby, where's the Bear Grylls knife at? You got one handy? Get out. And, you know, like I said, it's a good pig sticker. What I call a pig sticker. Look at that. That is a good pig sticker. Let's put these over here. You have to excuse this mess. The ladies are over here eating. <laughs> this is the Bear Grylls uh, knife. They're, they're almost the same length, I would say. So, uh, you know, obviously this one is uh, doubled edged. This one here you can actually baton. And this one has a lanyard loop. That's got a, what do they call that, a pommel? I don't know if that's for hitting your opponent in the eye or breaking glass, but I'll just use it for a lanyard loop. But there you go. So let me let me just give you an example here. The Bear Grylls knife does a good job slicing. Pretty good. And then in contrast to this guy right here, you know, they both do the trick. Ladies, don't be looking at my booty. Folks, it's got a little sheath. Just snap that in there. It's just a quick pull out. Oh Lord, you know what? And it's oh not my it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall out of there. That's a very tough pull. Oh, oh yeah. That was it gonna fit up again poop. If you lock it down, it ain't coming out. Wait a minute, one is locked. Okay, Ooh. that's unlocked right there, and then that's locked. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, looks, looks like we gotta work on the sheath here. I would have to say this is probably a fake. <laughs> All the things in the Philippines is broken. That's yeah. what I think. That's uh, supposed to be locked like that. And that's supposed to be unlocked. Maybe something with that effect. I don't know. I'll figure it out.